Hello everybody, my name is Hal Bender. I'm the principal at GC Burkhead Elementary. Uh, this week, August 12th through the 15th, we have our kindergarten camp. Uh, we have two groups of about 30 kids going two days a, a week. Uh, it's a great opportunity for our incoming kindergarten students to, uh, to meet their teacher and to do some kindergarten activities. And it also gives us a chance to meet some of our kindergarten families as well. So it's a great experience for them. They get to get breakfast and lunch. Uh, they're going to visit their special classrooms like the library and the music room, the art room. Uh, and also they're going to take a school bus ride, visit our playground, and do a lot of uh, the experiences that they're going to have on a normal day-to-day -day in kindergarten. So this is a great way to start off the school year. Uh, we're only about a month away from the official start, but we're very excited. And uh, here in a few minutes we'll go and take a look at some of our new faces. All right, so today uh, one of our first activities that we're going to do is the kids are going to hop on the school bus. A lot of them, this is the first time they've ever been on a school bus. Uh, the teachers are going to go over the rules and uh, the procedures for getting on and off the bus, and the kids are just going to have a good time. Hi, my name is Kathy Wilcox. I'm a bus driver for Hardin County Schools. I drive preschool, and today we went and took the kindergartners on a run um, around the county a little bit. We did some railroad crossings. Uh, all the boys and girls did a wonderful job when we stopped. And they all listened for the train, and then we proceeded through some neighborhoods, and we did a, a, a stop where we pick up some students. The children were all excited. We see some horses and they really loved all that. So it was a great day here at GC Burkhead. Hi, my name is Carla Simpson and I'm a kindergarten teacher here at GC Burkhead Elementary School. Um, and yesterday and today we had our Jumpstart Kindergarten Camp on a group of kids. And so we've done a lot of activities that we'll be doing during the kindergarten year that is upcoming. Um, we have had literacy activities and math activities, um, a lot of fun things to do. Today in particular, we were able to um, take a ride on the school bus because some of us will be riding the school bus. We practice school bus procedures, such as holding the handrail when you get onto the bus sitting on the seat, seat to seat and back to back so that we're safe, having a quiet voice on the school bus, as well as being quiet at railroad tracks so that we can stay safe and hear the bus driver. We drove around the neighborhood a little bit and had a great time doing that. And when we came back, we transitioned to a new activity. Hi there, my name is Mrs. Emily Ott. I am a kindergarten teacher here at GC Burkhead. This week What's your favorite thing to draw, Tariq? What's your favorite thing to draw? You like to use paint to draw, but what do you draw when you use paint? What do you like? You like to draw clowns. Raise your hand if you're like Tariq and you like to draw clowns too. Yeah. What? Straight. It's straight. So we've got straight. This is the word straight. We've got straight lines, and straight lines can go in any direction. But our our arm and our hand work together to not go curvy at all, they go in one way. What's another type of line? So we said straight, 
What's another type of line I could draw, Silas? Um, I could I could draw an elephant. What type of lines would I use to draw an elephant? Um, straight lines. I would use straight lines, but I would also use some curved lines. Okay. What type of tools do you see on your desk? Carson, what's one tool you see on your desk? You see a paintbrush, okay. What's another tool? Uh, actually, everyone point to your paintbrush. Point to your paintbrush. Point to your paintbrush. You can touch it. Where's your paintbrush? Point to it. Good. What's okay, it? so raise your hand if straight lines are your favorite. Raise your hand if curved lines are your favorite. Raise your hand if zigzag lines are your favorite. Raise your hand if spiral lines are your favorite. Okay, so what? Whatever type of line is your favorite, you are going to use your white crayon to draw your favorite type of lines. Okay, so go ahead and start drawing. We will tell you when it's time to stop. Your white crayon. You can't see it, right? You can't see it. That's why it's an invisible painting. It's a magic painting. You need to get your paintbrush wet and then dip it into the colors. These are called watercolor paints. So get your paintbrush wet. And if you got it too wet, then you're going to use your paper towel to dry it off a little bit, okay? okay? And then choose your color, get your color wet, and then paint on top of your painting, on top of your drawing. Like this. And then we're going to dry it off. Which color do you want? Okay, have you chosen a color? Yeah, it's purple. Okay, so then draw on top of your... This? Draw on top. Mm -hmm. You might need more paint. There you go. Now you can see the lines of it. Mm-hmm. Did you choose a color? Did you... Here, let's do this one, because this one's going to work a little bit better. Yeah. The small one. Which color do you want? Now, if you want to wash it off, what color? Look, I turn my. I turn my. This one. I, We're gonna get it look, nice and wet. I turn okay. the purple into purple water. Now draw over look your painting. Paint now, over your. Hey, can see the other side. Good job. Um, in art class, we talked about different lines. Uh, they got to draw some straight lines, some curved lines, um, doing an invisible art activity where they got to reveal the white crayon after they painted over. Um, we also today were able to explore and play on the kindergarten on the playground for kindergarten. There's a lot of different fun things that we do on the playground. Um, on the playground, there are climbing things, um, there are swings, there are slides. There are a lot of things out there for us to explore and play. We talked about safety on the playground, how we're not supposed to throw the mulch or to run and push friends. We're supposed to stay in our own space. When we go on the slides, we go up the stairs and come down the slides. Um, and we talked about how we are not supposed to walk up the slides um, and to watch for other people because that is not a safe practice. And when walking in front of the swings, um, or when walking to stay away from the swings um, because we don't want to get kicked. And so we just practiced and had a lot of fun playing on the playground today. Uh, we have to talk about playground safety before we can ever think about going to the playground because it's a new place that you guys haven't been before. So we have to talk about how it's safe. Right, we want to make sure that we follow the rules so that we don't fall and get hurt so that we stay safe. All right, so our playground rules. There are lots and lots of things to know about the playground, okay? The playground has mulch on the ground. It's blue and it's kind of a rubbery kind of feeling mulch and it's really good for you to walk on <clears throat> on the playground. Do you think it's a good idea to pick the, if you think it's a good idea to pick up the mulch and throw it, no. give me a thumbs up. If you don't think that's a good idea, say no way, thumbs down. No. Oh, you're right, thumbs down. Is it a, okay, William, what do you think is a good rule for the playground? Don't climb up the slide. You are right. We're not going to climb up the slide. What <laughs> happens if you climb up the slide, William? Someone will, like, someone will bump 
you might bump into someone, someone might crash into you and you can get hurt. So we always go up the stairs and down the slide and we sit on our Bottom. bottoms. When you're at the top of the slide and you see somebody sitting on the slide, should you sit down and go at the same time? No. no, that's not safe either. But when you're standing at the top and somebody is on the slide, if you count one, two, three, four, five, then go down the slide, that gives them time to go all the way down and move out of the way before you go down the slide. Can you think? Can you, is it okay to run when we're on the playground? Yeah. You can run on the playground, but should you always look up and watch where you're running? Yeah, because it's okay to run and play when we're outside, but if you're running really fast and you're not watching where you're going, then you might bump into a friend and fall. You're right. Joseph, thank you for sitting down and raising your hand. Now, what would you like to say about the playground? Um, when that spinning thing spinning and someone's getting really near it, you should not do that because it may hit you. You're right. There's also called a merry-go-round or a 10-spin. There are places for you to stand with your feet to turn it, and there are places for you to sit with your bottom. You have to follow the rules, and if you're running and you get close to the tin spin that is spinning, you could get hit and it would hurt. Should you jump off of the tin spin while it's turning? No, no that's very dangerous. That's we don't jump off. That before you jump off. That's right, we wait till we get off. All right, can anybody, okay, Lindley, what can you think of? Uh, well, it is just swinging, and there is someone in the front of you, you, you might get hit. That's right. There are also swings on our playground. You guys are doing a great job of thinking about all of the things on our playground. Oh, everybody's hands. Um, some other things that we did today were art and music. We got to explore those specials because in kindergarten, we are able to go to different special areas during the week. So we were able to today have a little taste of music and a little taste of art. In music, we talked about rhythm and how we use rhythm when we talk um, by using some rhythm sticks and seeing if they could copy rhythms that we made together. What type of instrument did we just do to do the hand clap rap? Did we use a guitar? No. Did we use our voices? No. What 
type of instrument did we use? Raise your hand to tell me. What type of instrument did we use? Lucas knows. Olivia knows. Who else knows? Paisley, what type of instrument did we use? We used our hands. Give yourselves a round of applause. We used our hands as instruments. We've got these sticks that we can also use as instruments, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a rhythm. I might do like what Jack, Jack did, and I might do something like one, two, three, four, five. And then you're gonna see if you can copy me, okay? Gotta see if you can remember what I did. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I will try that one again. Ready? Listen to listen to it again. Ava, listen again. Ready? One. Oh, Y'all listen first. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Ready? One, two, three, four. Good job. What about? One, three, four. One, three, four. Yeah. Because that one kind of was with the two. Anymore. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I tripped you up on that one. It was one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Asa's got it. It's a good job. Samuel, you come on up here and do a rhythm for us. So we're going to listen to Samuel do a rhythm. All right, turn around to your friends. We're going to copy Samuel. Ready? Go ahead. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Was that it? All right, good job. Who else would like to do one? Me. Asa, come on up. Go ahead and go back. Thank you, Samuel. That was a great job. Okay, we're listening to Asa. Ready? Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Who else would like to do one? This week we have worked our kindergarten kickoff camp with some incoming kindergartners for the 2021-2022 school year. Um, we have done some literacy and math uh, activities to get them used to what a school day looks like, um, as well as them getting to know their school uh, with some special area and going to the playground, I think, was probably their favorite part. What sound does the letter Z make? Z it does. Jackson, what's this right here? A zebra. A zebra. You're right. So Z <laughs> is the first letter in the word zebra. What else do we have? What does Jakari have on his jacket that moves up and down? Zebra. Not a zebra. Do you have a zebra on your jacket? What's this called right here? Zipper. A zipper. That's something else that starts with the letter Z. A Z is made with three straight lines. Look, one across here, a diagonal, and another one across. So we're going to open your Play-Doh. Play you can get your Play-Doh out. So I did it. Now you're going to roll it like this. Okay, mush it in your hands. This gives you good strength in your fingers. Increases your fine motor, helps your fingers strong to be able to write and do fun things. Okay. Now pick up just a little piece of your Play-Doh. Pull off a little piece of your Play-Doh and see if you can roll it in a ball in your hand. Yeah. Jakari, can you roll it like this? Look, one little piece. Just pull that piece and see if you can roll it in a ball. Good. Now you're going to put it on the table and with your hand. Good. Now you're going to put it and you're going to flatten it out into a line. Look, watch. Watch. We're gonna watch. Now roll it like this with your hand. Good. Kind of looks kind of like a hot dog. It's called a line. You're making a line. Yeah. Maybe it came out good. Mine's getting bigger. Okay. And then when you have your line, you're gonna. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna put it on my letter Z. And there's part of my letter Z. Then I'm gonna take another piece of Play-Doh. Okay. Let's see if we can form the letter. Good. I can squish it. Okay. We're not squishing it. We're making lines to make our letter Z. Use your lines to put on your letter. If you want to squish it, that's fine. 
Okay, then right there on, use the other to finish making it. So a Z has, does a Z just have one line? No. No, it has three lines, doesn't it? Three straight lines. Miss Carla, look. You're forming it using your Play-Doh. You're build, you are building it using pieces. Miss Carla is building hers using lines. Good, you guys are learning. What are some other letters that are in the alphabet? Jackson, what's another letter you can think of? A. A, that's a great letter. Does a letter A use straight lines or curves? Curves. Let's see if I, Miss Carla's gonna make a letter A right here on the table to show you. I'm gonna make a capital letter A. So that's a big letter A. Oh, it has lines. This is my first time being in kindergarten again. I know it's your first time. You're doing a great job. And You're I'm listening. I'm excited to go to the playground. You're excited to have time on the playground. We're going to do a lot of fun things. Look, Miss Carla, I did it. You did what a great is, job, Jakari. Good is, job, Jackson. Time to go on a playground. In a little while, but right now we're going to finish our literacy. So, what, Jackson, what letter is this? It's A. Does this A have straight lines or curves? It has, look, it has straight lines. Lines that go straight. Let me show you a letter with a curve. You did it, Harper. Good job. Now I'm going to make a line with a curve. It's okay if you made it too long. Miss Carla's going to make a letter that has a curve so you can see the difference. Can I pick it up? No, just leave it right there. So what do I make? I'm out. You're out. You can pick it up and try to make a different letter with what you have. I'm gonna make this. You're gonna. You can make. You can make a lowercase C. Good. Miss Carla is showing you. So I showed you the capital A. Now I'm gonna show you a lowercase A. So this is a capital A, and this one's a lowercase. What's different? What does this one have? It has a curve in this one. So some letters are made using only straight lines and some are made using curves and lines. Good. All right, so we are going to do some, yeah, we're gonna count, we're gonna do a little bit of counting and then I have a, a board activity. We're gonna see if we can tell, count some animals and see what the number is, okay? And I even have a book for us also called 10 Little Rubber Ducks. Okay, so let's, we're gonna count to 10, and when we get to count to 10, we're gonna stop, okay? Are you ready? One, One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Eleven. Jackson, what number comes after 10? 11. 11, good. And so now we're gonna try, let's see if we can count all the way to 20. So we're gonna start at 11 and count to 20. Can you help me do that? Yeah. 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Stop. Conjure, what comes after 20? 21. He said that if you think that 21 is the number that comes after 20, give me a thumbs up. And if you think, if you think it's a different number, if you don't think that's the number, you can give me a sideways thumb. And it's okay if some friends don't know. Okay, we're gonna learn this year. Good, so a thumbs up. Good job. All right, so let's see if we can count from 21 all the way to 30. Let's see if anybody's ready for that. Are you ready? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, Great job, and I bet some of you could keep counting and counting and counting. I bet you could. You can? Oh, wow. Right, we're Jensen had his fingers up and he was going like this. This is how you make a number seven. All five fingers on one hand and two fingers on the other hand. So when you look at this, good job. You guys are doing great. There are seven. All right, so here is our duck pond up here on this table and inside, there are some duckies floating on the water. Some of them are turning over sideways. Some of them are floating. What number is on this ducky? Eight. Eight. Good job. Let's see. What number is on this duck? Two. Two. Good. Can you see what's on the bottom of this duck? Dots. It has dots. How many dots does it have? Two. Two. It has two dots. All right. Let's see. 
Uh oh, what's this? Stop. So what should we do? Good job, Piper. Remembering may come up and have a turn to roll. Roll the dice and find a duck. We can just have one of you roll, or if you both want to roll and find your own number, you could do that. Or you can roll this one. You can roll on the floor. See if you can. You want to roll this one? Roll it on the ground. I got it. Oh, okay, Bexley. So what number or Becky? What number are you finding? Five. Five. Good. What number? Do you want to help find five? You did find a five. I awesome. Found a you found a star. What do you do with the star? Quack, quack, quack. Oh, and he needs a two. What number are you finding? Two. You're finding a two. Do you remember what our number two looks like? Yes. Oh, a two. A star two. A star and a two. So what should you do? How about you quack two times if you find a star with a two? You quacked twice. Good job. And then, oh, I and my class at the end of the day today, we explored and did story time. So today we read a story called Little Quack, which is about um, a mother duck and her ducklings who um, she was trying to teach how to come on the water and swim. And so we related that to kindergarten, how the little ducklings were afraid to step into the water to swim, but their mother encouraged them and they were able to do that. Um, and so we talked about how that was like us as, as kindergartners coming in. Sometimes it's a little scary. Um, we don't want to do it, but once we put our toe in the water, we go and we come and we have a great time in kindergarten. Um, it's been a great couple of day experience. The kids have had a lot of fun and we are really looking forward to a great year in kindergarten here at GC Burkhead. All right, so I want to thank you all for joining us today. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Just want to remind everybody that our open house is August 5th from 5.30 to 7. Uh, as you can see from the room and here by the volume, we are getting back into the swing of things and are excited for the start of the next year.